Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Pokemon Swoosh. Uh, so yeah, last time we took a look around M Matos M M Modistoke or Matostoke or whatever it is. Um, just got a feel for the area basically. Um, it was fun. Um, we got a cool outfit, you can see I'm super cute now. I was already super cute, let let's be honest. Um, but yeah, we've pretty much gotten to the point where we want to actually go do the gym challenge. So as you can see from the menu there, it says to check in to the Baru Drop Inn. So we're probably going to go up and do that next. In the Galar region, it's only natural to help each other out. The cleaning I do is just volunteer work. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so we're going to head back up to the inn, which is this way. There we go. Uh, there's the train station. If we wanted to go somewhere else, we could use that. <gasps> there's a why not? Look at the why not? Look at little baby. Hi, little baby. Hi, little baby. I love them. I'm trying to press the R button to run faster because that's how you do it in Dragon Quest Builders 2, which I've been playing a lot of, but in this game it doesn't work that way, so nothing happened. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, we're going to go back to the inn, which is this way. Did I talk to you already? The gym leaders battle each other separately from the gym challenge in order to determine who is stronger. Wah, my mincino has gone missing. What should I do? Can I help? Huh? You'll help me look for Mincino? Oh, thank you so much. My Mincino really likes to play in the water and also likes the sound of whistling. I bet it's hiding somewhere where there's lots of water. But I can't think of a place with lots of water here in Matostoke. It has a weird cry that sounds like mwop, so if you hear that cry, try whistling. Well, what do you think about a secret hideout? We want to make a new gym. You're going to make a secret hideout in this, this supply crate? Okay. Okay, I guess I'll have to look around for this Mincino. It seems pretty important. Uh... I'm not sure if there's a way to see where it is on the screen or if you have to actually hear the sound. If you have to hear the sound, that's a bit inconvenient because... Not everyone can hear sounds. Some with lots of water. Um. Here's some water. It's not a lot though. <laughs> well, that's a lot of water. No. Hmm. I mean, this this town is, has a big canal running through it. There's definitely a lot of water around. I'm not sure why they thought there wasn't a lot of water in this town. <laughs> oh my goodness. A lot of water everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. I still think it's weird that you can't move the camera around while you're wandering around in most areas. It strikes me as a little strange and inconvenient. It's not too bad, I guess. Maybe it was back up here somewhere? Hmm. I like these elevators, they're very quick. Um, it could be one of these fountains. Warp. Mincino? No, I'm just an old man. I come here secretly to freshen up, but I guess I've finally been found out. Let me give you a little something remember our meeting. A bottle of fresh water. Is that from the, the fountain you've been standing in? Because it probably isn't that fresh. Now then, I'll be on my way. Farewell. <laughs> okay, so you don't have to actually hear the sound. You can see the sound, so that's alright. Um... That thing that was concerning me is not a concern. There we are, Morp. That's the sound that a Mincino makes. Morp? It's the missing Mincino. Mincino went back to the boy. What boy? He looked to a kid. How do we know it was a boy? Hmm. I guess I'll go over there and talk and see if they're happy now. 
Mincino came back. Thanks for helping me find it. Please take this. It's my way of saying thank you. A bottle of throat spray. What? Raise a special attack when a Pokemon uses a sound-based move. Okay. Hello, Mincino. Up there. Up there being cute. I love you. Okay, let's go to the inn now. <laughs> so this is the inn, the Buddy Drop Inn. And we were told to go to. Um, okay, I can see Sonya being cute. Hiya! Looks like you both got yourselves registered. Oh, hey Sonya! What are you doing at our hotel? I'm researching the mysterious Pokémon that's said to be in the slumbering world. I reckon if I look into some of Galar's legends, I might figure something out. Care to join me? You're here already anyway. What's this then? It's a statue of the hero who once saved the Galar region. I could run through the legend right quick if you fancy. Uh, give me all the details. Long ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. People called it the darkest day. The land was assaulted by gigantic Pokémon, but they were defeated by a single young hero bearing a sword and shield. That's the title of the game! Oh! A single young hero bearing a swoosh! Oh! This statue here is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. You still don't under understand what kind of sword and shield the hero actually had. Swoosh! And what is- what, and what this black storm is supposed to be is just another mystery. Whatever it was, it blotted out the skies all across Galar. I suppose that tracks with it being called the Darkest Day, but still. Huh. I suppose that hero must have been about as strong as Lee, then. Looks like you're gonna have your hands full with plenty to research, though, Sonya. Black storms and swords and shields and all. Heh, <laughs> thanks. I'll model through somehow, don't you worry. You two are staying here at the hotel tonight, though, aren't you? Shouldn't you check in? Probably so. And we'll look out for you too, Sonya. If you hear anything about any hero or whatnot, we'll tell you. Sonya, I love you. Look at that big happy face. She's so happy. Look at that happy face. <laughs> look at the smile. <laughs> Thanks for always tagging along with Hop. I hope you can keep it up. Leon really worries about him too. We practically raised him after all. Look, 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 look how cute she is. I love you. Look at that smile. Oh my gosh. I love Sonya so much. <laughs> well, let's head on in. Do, do, do. Hello. What's the problem with those guys? I can't check in. These guys. Wait, they're actually called Team Yell? I thought someone was just memeing. I thought that was like, lol, that they get these shared all the time, so they're called Team Yell, but they're actually called that. Also, hey, look, there's a dock there without a switch in it. And I can switch it on and it makes stuff appear on the screen somehow. Oh, I'm just turning the TV on, I think. Okay. <laughs> we came all the way out to this big city so we could properly cheer on gym challenges. Team Yell is here to help, after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. Uh, sorry to bother you? I don't want to stop you, I want, I want you to help, it's good. Hello, Badu. I guess you're the one the inn's named after. Uh, I guess I do have to fight them. Um, probably enough health, um, health to just go ahead and do it. We came all the way out to this big city so we could properly cheer on gym challenges. Team Yell is here to help after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. Didn't we tell you, mate? You get in our way and you're in for a battle. Team Yell's all about helping. Helping one very special trainer with the gym challenge, that is. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. And now you're going to help us make some noise. You were challenged by the Team Yell Grunt. Sent out Zigzagoon. Ooh, Zigzagoon's got different colors and stuff. Is that like a Galarian Zigzagoon? Or... I guess so. Uh, let's try Water Pulse. I don't know what Zigzagoon's weak to. I think it's normal type. 
That was easy. Against points. I'm looking for a fight and I lost. I'm so pathetic. You got 720 poke yen for winning. Oh, give me a break here. Team Yell, get revenge for me, would ya? Of course I got you covered, mate. What could be better than a battle in a lovely hotel lobby? Oh, you're cute. Cute. Nick it. Oh, it's you. I love you, Nick it. It's a foxy friend. Posing Nikki is quick attack. I took a little bit of damage. Water pulse time. Huh, they survived that. They don't expect that. Nikki Trainers, goodbye. Pokemon gained experience points. Charles good to level 11. You defeated the team, Yell Grant. I still got a bit carried away being in this swanky hotel and all. Sorry for getting in your way. I like you, you're really cute. Can I be your friend? Oh man, the swanky sophisticated air in here had me off my game. I couldn't keep my cool. Wasn't expecting checking in with such a big fuss, Daniel. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon bottles without me? Don't think you can get ahead of me that easily. I need to get some training in, so I'm joining. Here, I'll even help your Pokemon too. I'm Hop, one of this year's gym challenges, and the one who's going to be the next champion. Now let's have us a nice two-on-two. -two. can already hear my victory coming. The only sound you'll make is a whimper of defeat. Okay, so double battles are a thing in this game? You were challenged by the Team Yell Grunt and the Team Yell Grunt. No way. Zigzagoon. And Nickers. How creative. Go, Cynthia! Pokemon trainer Hop sent out Wooloo. Okay, uh, Water Pulse. I kind of thought it might work on both of them, but it doesn't. Some moves do work on both, like, critters in a double battle, but this one does not. Goodbye, Zigzagoon. Pokemon and experience points. Really use tackle. Hop, you really need to level up your Pokemon. Cynthia you used Water Pulse. Bam. See, see, I did all the work there. <laughs> Hop, you have you have to train your Pokemon so that they're good, like mine. You defeated the Team Yelgrunt and the Team Yelgrunt. My voice is unsure and I'm sad. I want to yell, but I'm unsure. I came to see the Gym Challenge Open Ceremony, but this is awful. You got 1440 Poke Yen for winning. Yay. Guess it was defeat that I heard coming. I think I'm about to cry. Oh, hello. What are you lot doing here? Marnie? So that that's Marnie? Okay. I saw you earlier, Marnie. N n nothing. We was just... I know you're all terribly curious about the other gym challenges, but you've got to show a bit of restraint. Sorry about them. There's a bunch of my fans. Call themselves Team Yell and follow me around, cheering for me. I think they've let it all go to their heads a bit. I'm one of your fans. You're really cute, Marnie. Come on, you lot. Back home with you now. Look how cute she is. And she's wearing, like, basically a trans symbol choker, so... <laughs> They're just so caught up with wanting to support me and all, they tend to get a bit shirty with other gym challenges. Sorry if they cause you any trouble. So you're a gym challenger too? Team Yell, was it? Pretty impressive that you already have a set of fans to call your own. Oh, she's cute. She's got a little friend too. Hello, little friend. 
They're just so caught up wanting to support me and, and all, they get to tend to get a bit shirty with other gym challenges. You just said that, Marnie. Sorry if they caused you any trouble, yeah. I guess we can check in now. Also, Marnie cute. Uh, can I help any of you? Looks like no. I can check in, though. Hello. Good evening, and welcome to the Buddy Drop-In. You also one of the Pokemon trainers entering the gym challenge. Yes. Yes, young Miss Danielle, I see the League has booked a room for you. Thanks, Leaguey Weegies. And if I might, thank you for helping us out of a sticky situation with those hooligans earlier. I hope you have a pleasant stay here with us. Sleep well. Thank you. Time for a snooze. That's a Pokemon noise that plays when you have a, a heal or a snooze or anything like that. The next morning... Morning! So this is it. Now my legend really begins. Watch out, Danny. I'll beat you to Motorstoke Stadium. Alright. Bye, Hop. Can I go in the elevators? I can! I'm gonna have a bit of a look around this hotel before I go to the stadium. The rooms aren't locked or anything. Interesting. Can I open this wardrobe? Nope. Can I... Use the bed? Can I do anything in here? I can turn the TV on, that's cool. There isn't a switch dock in this room. Which I guess makes sense, they are kind of expensive. You wouldn't want to have one in every room. I noticed something shiny on the ground while I was wandering the wild area, and so I went to investigate. Guess what I found? Star pieces, a whole bunch of them. Here, you can have one too. You obtained a star piece. What's it do? Oh, can we sell the high price two shops? Okay. You can sell star pieces for a good price at the Pokemarts. I've got my eye on some new clothes and a new hat already. Yes, that's what the money is for in this game. It's for buying new clothes. Exactly. You know how to play this game. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of yours, tall person. When you watch a match at the stadium, you can feel the vibrations coming right up through your feet and echoing all through your body. I come to watch the matches at Motorstoke Stadium. When they're really good, you can hear the cheers all the way over here at the hotel. Cool. <laughs> the wishing star on your Dynamax band. I hope your wish comes true. That's a Dynamax band. Having a Pokemon turn gigantic in a stadium sure is intense, right? I haven't had it happen yet, so... I, I can't really comment, but it sounds pretty cool. That grandson of mine doesn't know what he's talking about. When it comes to the Charizard pose, there's no way Leon could ever outshine me. Are you gonna do the Charizard pose? I wanna see. <gasps> you got a little friend, Panch. Leon is the best, and his Charizard pose is the best too. Mine is pretty good. Heck yeah! <laughs> this game is super cute. I'm guessing these two lifts are identical. I'll take the other one just in case. Yeah, they are. Okay. Hmm. Onward to Motorstoke Stadium. Time for the opening ceremony. Uh, is anyone else here that I need to talk to? So the gym challenge is finally starting. I wish you luck. I'm afraid I'm going to be the one to win. Marnie, you're really cute. I like you. I like you, Marnie. Marnie adorbs. Gym challenger, the opening ceremony is starting soon. Please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. Sure. All right, follow close and be careful not to lose sight of me. We made it to the stadium entrance. Please hurry to the opening ceremony. I went to the stadium, like, yesterday to register and then went to the inn. Like, surely I know where the stadium is. Motorstoke Stadium. The opening ceremony of the gym challenge. My whole family will be watching back home. I should go check my hair once we're in the mirror, don't you think? I think you already said that. Or something similar, anyway. Something about these two is giving me Splatoon vibes, but I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the, like, the blue hair or something? I'm not sure. I heard that this year's gym challenges include trainers that were endorsed by the chairman and even the champion. 
Yep. I was endorsed by the chairman himself. In other words, among all is elite enough to get an endorsement, I'm the most elite of all. So why don't you clear off and not try talking to me again, would you? Yeah, you already said that. Um, I guess I'll just go up here and register. Challenger Danielle, wasn't it? You must ask that gym challengers wear their uniforms for all official events. The opening ceremony marks the beginning of the gym challenge, so you know what that means. That's right, and you get I need you to get changed as well. How do I do that? Oh, they're giving me the outfit now. Okay, I'm gonna get changed over there. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm cute, I'm cute. Look how cute I am in my, in my, in my challenger outfit. Wonderful. You look sharp as a pin, and that 42 there, that really is the number for you. Now we're ready at last for the opening ceremony for this year's gym challenge. I'm so freaking cute. <laughs> I like being cute. Oh gosh, how did I voice this guy? I remember, I remember this guy was at the beginning. Ladies and gentlemen! Hopefully this is the same. I am Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League! I know that everyone gathered here, and everyone watching from home have all been waiting for this big moment. It is my pleasure to announce that finally, the Galar Region Gym Challenge will now begin! Yes, the Gym Challenge! Participants must defeat the eight gym leaders! And gather the eight gym badges to prove their skills as a trainer! Only the most worthy will have the honor of challenging the greatest champion in history! Now I would like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves! <laughs> okay, I'm ready. That was intense. Who are we gonna be meeting? Oh, there's a foot. Oh, it belongs to a person. Oh, I know some of these characters. The Fighting Farmer, here's the Grass-type expert, Milo! The Raging Wave, it's the Master of Water Types, Nessa! Oh, she's cute. The Ever-Burning Man of Fire, here comes the Fire-type veteran, Kabu! The Silent Boy of Mystery, Alistair, friend to ghost types. The Master of Fantastic Theatre, it's the Charming Fairy-type user, Opal! The Ice Cold Professional, please welcome the Ice-type Master, Melanie. And last but not least, the Tamer of Dragons, it's Raihan, the top gym leader. Unfortunately, we're missing one, but... These are the gym leaders that we in the Galar region are proud to call our own. Did, did you lose one of your gym leaders? What happened? Oh, that's me! Oh, it's so scary! Look at all the people everywhere! Oh no! Oh no! I have fear. Oh, it's over. Standing there on the pitch, in the stadium, in front of everyone. There's really no words for it, but I can barely contain myself. My heart's racing. You've made it at last, Hop. And you too, Danielle. So you're the two trainers our champion endorsed himself. Welcome, and it's a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. Oh, and what's this? I see you both already possess Dynamax bands. How wonderful! It seems you two have been led here by the guiding light of the Wishing Stars. By the way, it was my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax bands, you know. I dare say this year's gym challenge is looking to be an absolute blast. Very good. Very good indeed. That means the whole Galar region is in for some excitement. The gym challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokémon. Now, I'm terribly sorry, but there is some urgent business I need to attend to, so I must be on my way. The best of luck to both of you! Thanks, Rose. The chairman certainly seems to be in high spirits. Now, listen closely, you two. You've both only just started on your path as trainers. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokémon. You need to train yourselves, too. 
Let's do it, Danielle. You know the gym challenge has a set order that you've got to visit the gyms in, right? The first is in Turf Field, and to get there, we need to head to Route 3. The gym challenge is an event in which aspiring trainers travel around the Galar region to try to collect gym badges from eight of its gyms. To earn a gym badge, you have to complete that gym's mission, and also defeat its gym leader. Okay. Mm, sounds good to me. I was hoping Marnie would be here and I could tell her she's cute, but it doesn't look like she's here. Let's go! Pass through Route 3 and beyond in order to reach Turfield next. <laughs> Challenger Danielle, the chairman asked me to deliver this gift to you. A gift for me? A gift. Such a wonderful thing. From the chairman. Such a wonderful man. Ahem, <clears throat> excuse me. The gift is access to the flying taxis. They allow you to, in a word, fly. Calling a flying taxi will allow you to travel quickly back to areas you've already visited. Huh. That's an interesting way of doing it. If you use the flying taxi service, one of their well-trained Corviknight will have you zipping across the Galar region to your desired destination in no time at all. So open up the X menu and use the town map to choose where you want to go. If it's alright with you, I'll read a segment from the Flying Taxi's user's manual. Ahem. <clears throat> Press the X button and select the town map option to choose the place you'd like to go to. Anyway, your next goal should be turf field, isn't that right, Danielle? When travelling to a new place, it's best to get there on your own two legs, don't you think? I, I guess so. Yeah, it won't let me fly there yet. I'm guessing if I scroll back down to somewhere earlier in the game, like, uh, Postwick. Yeah, I can fly to Postwick. Neat. Um, so yeah, the later generations have made flying just something you have instead of requiring you to get a certain Pokemon that has the ability. Um, in Sun and Moon, it was, you had, you got ride Pokemon, and one of them was a Charizard that could just glide to any, anywhere you'd been. Um, in this one, it looks like it's a flying taxi that's run by Corviknights, which is a bit different. I'm guessing the other ride Pokemon aren't in this game, apart from that, but mm, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let's go to the Pokeball Center over here. <sighs> this town has two Pokemon Centers, it's pretty impressive. Thanks for waiting, Sobble and the rest of the team for your better now. We hope to see you again. Okay, let's go. I mean, swoosh, not let's go. Different game. There you are, I've been waiting. Let's have a battle, you and me. We're getting a bit of training. Alright. I knew you'd be up for it. We've got to stay keener than anyone else if we want to steal the spotlight from our rivals. You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Pokemon Trainer Hop sent out Wooloo. Three Pokemon, really? I have, I have a full party, and I have for a while. What, what are you doing, Hop? Keep up, mate. This is our chance to see if we are up to the gym challenge. Oops. Okay, I'm getting definitely getting a bit of drift from this right Joy-Con here. It's not good. <sighs> Cynthia used water pulse. The opposing wheeler used tackle. Cynthia used water pulse. I could have used water gun there and probably had enough damage, but yeah. Opposing wheeler fainted. Experience points. That'll get me level 15. Yay! Level 13. Level 11. Level 11. Pokemon Trainer Hop is about to send out the Score Bunny. Will you switch your Pokemon? Nah. Hi, Score Bunny. Look at that cutie. Look at that cutie. Supposing Score Bunny used Quick Attack. Cynthia used Water Pulse. It's super effective. Typical. Should have known you'd master tight matchups. You did already know that. You said that the last time we fought. 
I think I'm gonna try and hop use the potion. I probably should have used my water attack again. That was silly. Opposing school bunny has HP restored. Cynthia used pounds. I thought that would be enough, but because of the potion it wasn't. Uh another water pulse. Quick attack. It's super effective. The person score bunny fainted. Why score bunny? Experience points. Peter grew to level 12. Charles grew to level 12. Brookie D. No, I won't switch my Pokemon. Backed into a corner? You got it all wrong, mate. This will just make my victory all the better. If you say so. Brookie D's unnerved. Your team is too nervous to eat berries. If you say so. <laughs> Cynthia used Water Pulse. Frozen Rookie D used Peck. It didn't do a whole lot. Frozen Rookie D fainted. The Pokemon gained experience points. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Hop. Is that really good training? Looks like I better keep my guard up. You got 1120 Poke Yen for winning. Yay! Okay, we're at about half an hour now, so I'm gonna hit the Pokemon Center and then call that a video. Just what I expect from my rival. You know what? I even give you one of my League cards. That's how good I think you did in that battle. You got Hop's League card. With the League card in your album. Our gym challenge starts right now from here in Matos Motostoke. Well, the first gym we'll have to challenge is in a town way far off from here. Still, you better believe I'm gonna keep on winning my way to that championship match. Hello, Galar. Meet your next champion from the sleepy town of Postwick. It's me, Hop. Cute. Okay, uh, I'm gonna hit the Pokemon Center again, and then I'm gonna call out a video because we're at half an hour, and I think that's a good amount. And I'm gonna go to bed because it's after midnight. As you can see. <laughs> I guess that little L means local communication. I don't know, I haven't seen that appear very much. Most games don't automatically use local communication on the Switch, like they did on the 3DS. Hello. I had a lot of fun working at my part-time job today. A day of hard work and solid pay, well earned. Uh, if you say so, it sounds like you're being exploited by your, your boss, but whatever. Pokemon are good at some things, while people are good at others. Split up the tasks and things get done in a jiffy. Makes sense. Time to unwind for my day of work. Now, do I want to watch the gym leader battles or a good football match? Well, well football is boring. So, hopefully that helped. <laughs> uh, that's probably about it for this video. Um, next time, we're going to turf field. So, hopefully there aren't any turfs there. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's spelled differently, so that's probably fine. But, I mean, it's just a little, little concerning name-wise. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we make our way to the first town with a gym we can actually do. It's interesting that gyms are back in this game. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but in Sun, Sun and Moon did not have gyms. They had a completely different structure for progression through the game, and it was really interesting. Uh, it's kind of a shame that they've changed it back to the more traditional style, but I guess they people preferred it that way. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, there's me looking cute. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye!